All right, well, Casey here with CL Creative, where I'm teaching you web design and Webflow one video at a time. And today, we're gonna talk about how can we make our blog cards nice and neat looking. If you notice, this is one of my client websites, Wise Guys Dumpsters. I've been working on their SEO for a while now. And one of the things I do is create content for them. And I want that content to look nice. And so these blog cards, what I actually have, if you notice, they're nice and spaced out, as well as the, the titles are all about the same length. And the way that I'm accomplishing that is by using what's called line clamping. And so you notice dot, dot, dot there. It cuts this title off at two lines. And this dot, dot, dot right here cuts off the description at three lines. And that makes this grid look nice and neat. Now, I want to do something similar on my own website. Web designers are somewhat like mechanics where you know everybody else's car is running well, everybody else's website looks good, except for your own. A little late getting to that sometimes, but not today. I'm going to fix it. I want my blog cards to look just as nice as my clients' blog cards. Now, one of the things that we can do is we can just add some custom CSS to clamp this down, which is what we're going to do. But one of the limitations of Webflow is anytime we're adding custom code, oftentimes we have to publish our site in order to be able to see those changes. Well, I'm going to provide you with a way where you don't have to do that because sometimes when you're organizing a blog cards in a grid like this, you really want to be able to see what do they look like? Like, what is it going to look like when I when I clamp down this text? So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to make it where we can see it inside of our designer. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a component on the page and inside of that component we're going to place an embed so here we go if you if i just zoom in here you'll notice that i have a number of different you know styles or this is my html uh over here and one of the things i have is a component now i use client firsts uh you know fin suites um, class naming system and one of the things that you do is you put global styles on each of your pages. And so I have that here. Now, even if you don't use client first, even if you don't have a component that's named global styles, it doesn't really matter. Essentially, what we want to do is make sure that we have an embed on the page that we want to clamp down in this way that we're going to do. And we want to make sure that we hide that. All right. So here's my... I'm going to go with my component. I'm going to open it up. I'll show you what's inside of it. Essentially, it's just a div uh, named Global Styles with some padding styles and some margin styles. And what we're going to do is add in our embed element. So Command E to bring up search. And we're going to just type in embed. Click enter. Now we have our HTML embed code editor. It's inside of the Global Styles, which is hidden. You could just put the HTML embed editor and then hide that. Whatever you want to do. Just make sure you get that inside of a component or somewhere on your page and component if you want to be able to reuse it on different pages, but at least just on the page. All right, we got that. Let's move on. Next thing I want to do is I got some code here that I'm just going to paste in. I'll tell you exactly what this code does in just a second. So I'm going to paste this in and I'll zoom in. All right, so I have my text style, two lines. And if you notice what it's doing is it's actually clamping down to two lines. All right. So all we have to do is take this, we're going to copy it, and we are going to put another one on the page because we want to have a three-line option. We want to make sure to change the line clamp to three so that it's clamping down to three lines. Maybe you even want a four-line option. So let me just copy this one. And after that, we will just change this class to four lines. And we need to, again, make sure to change the line clamp to four lines. All right. So now we have our styles added to the page. And what we can do, I can go right here and I can copy this first style or this last style. I've already created these or this class, not a style. This whole thing is a style. This last, I keep saying style because it says text style, this last class. So we're going to copy this. I've already created text style three lines and text style two lines. So let me just show you how to do this if you were going to do it from scratch. All you do is copy the text style four lines, in my case, 
whichever one you want to add. You want to leave off the period because we don't need that inside of Webflow. We're creating a class. Webflow knows it's a class. It's in the style selector area. So we're going to just copy this text right here. All right, I'm going to save. I'm going to close. I'm going to exit out of my component. Now, say I want to apply that text style right here. Blog post item text. So it's this one is four lines. Let's find one that's longer. Here's one right here that's five lines. So maybe I just want it to be four lines. All I need to do is go right here. I'm going to apply a combo class. And we're going to just create this one. So text style four lines. It's one that we don't have already. But it is in our embed, which is in the page. And our embed is hidden. All right, so we're gonna create this class and watch what happens when I create the class. This text, which was five lines, if I can zoom in here, was five lines. Now it's only four lines with our ellipsis afterwards. So let me zoom back out. So maybe I don't want it four lines because I'm thinking, ah, oh, that, that's really not clean enough for me. I, I want it to be three lines. So here's where the power of doing this works. I didn't have to publish the site, reload the page, and see what it looks like. All I had to do was apply the class. So now I'm going to apply text style three lines to this, and let's see what it looks like. I apply three lines, and I'm like, okay, that looks pretty good. Like, I'm happy with the three lines. So now I need to clean up the header. I don't want the header to be three lines. Um, you know, maybe I want the header just to be two lines. So I can just apply text style. Now, let me go back over here. Sometimes it's hard to read. Text style two lines. And that's going to clamp down my header to two lines. So now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, this looks, this looks pretty good. I like the way this looks. It looks nice and clean. And one of the things that I was able to do was be able to see what it looked like directly inside of the designer without having to publish it in order to do that while applying some custom code to my project. So that's how you make your blog cards look nice and clean. That's how you apply custom code within the designer and be able to see exactly what is taking place whenever you apply that style. If you found some value out of this video, would you smash that like button for me? If you want more videos like this, I'm putting out videos on Webflow and web design, and I'm even going to throw some SEO videos in here in the coming weeks, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos every single week, and I hope to see you on the next one.